Welcome to another episode of Tank Nation, and it's me, Mr. K31. And today we're coming from, we're recording over here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're at one of the facilities here, and I am going to, first let me thank y'all for tuning in once again, and thank you for letting me spend a little time with you here on the channel and once again thank those of you who are liking and subscribing thank you so much and today we're using and i apologize for a lot of movement but i'm using uh, my first cell phone stabilizer here so just working on getting better clearer shots better programming and you know so we can do better on the channel so this is what we're using today and let's get to it so I'm just here waiting to load over the weekend. I had the choice. I delivered in South Carolina yesterday, and I and they had a load going to New York and Jersey. So I decided that I would I'd rather go to Chicago on Monday. So or I could have drove back home on my dime and spent the weekend home. But I'd rather stay out here and wait to get a you know, to do a load on Monday so we can keep rolling for the rest of the month because we have quite a few projects that we have to um, get financed. And what better way to do it than just stay out here and just, you know, and wait for the next. So, of course, um, like any guy, guy, I didn't read the instructions. I just took it out the box and start doodling with it and try to figure out how this thing works. So I don't know if I'm even going to release this or not. But sometimes um, when I'm out here on the road, I just find myself in some pretty cool situations. I'm just out here in nature and it's a beautiful day today. Gorgeous day today. It started off pretty cold here and then later on it became very nice out here today. So I said, you know, let's go out here and do some recording. And I'm going to do some more recording tonight and tomorrow for sure. And of course, I was just out walking around. Beautiful nature. So some of y'all are going to recognize some of these tracks out here. Some of y'all are going to recognize. Where is it? Now I'm going to get back focus again where those tracks are. Some of y'all are going to recognize that right there. Y'all see that? Some of y'all are going to recognize these tracks. Go another one and just tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks. So, out here with nature once again. So, we're walking around now. Let's go for a little walk. And, like anything else, we get a chance to get a chance to look back over our days, weeks, months, and years. And you know, 2021 was a pretty challenging year. It threw us some of everything at us. But for those of us who were able to persevere through, you know, we still gotta continue to meet future challenges, obstacles, situations, circumstances. A lot of joy, a lot of laughter, a lot of more crying to do still. But we ready to, we ready to get it. So I like to do a lot of walking and running and a lot of other things. And I was looking at that next door and it looks like old, it looks like old asphalt, what it looks like. But I was like, man, I would love to climb that. But that's kind of like, and then a little bit later on, I seen some of the asphalt falling down on its own like a, like an avalanche. And I was like, nah, not so much. But, um. Uh, and then I seen that tree there leaning over like that. And I was like, man, when I was younger, I would have loved to climb that. But then it has nothing but poison ivy all over it. So not so much. Not so much. So just walking around today. So tomorrow's going to be a... Tomorrow I'll actually buckle down and knock out all my paperwork. Get ready for the next load on Monday. 
get some serious exercise in. We're gonna do some um we're gonna do some filming tomorrow. We're gonna continue on with some trailers here that have had some accidents and we're gonna discuss that into more details. And then on, the, on my other channel, which will be Inspiration Addicts, we're gonna do a lot of stuff, like I say, fishing, hunting, music. We're gonna do some camping. It's gonna be doing a lot of stuff just the other side, but a lot of times I like to show this side of you never know what I'll be getting into. Cause I'm always walking, walking around. So I don't know what they're doing over there next door, but that is really tall. But it appears to be old asphalt that they have. They are processing in some kind of way, but that's a huge mound of it. And then just. And as they say, some days you got to just sit back and then look back over things and smell the coffee and smell the flowers with situations in your life. Get a chance to just sit back and relax and just. So I decided to take a walk out and I said, you know what? Let me take Tank Nation out and just show them another side of tanking. And as you can see, the tanks at the yard over there at the terminal there. And this is one of the final stages of the once they process um, they have their own treatment facility here and they'll treat the water now I only assume this that it goes here as one of the final processes before it goes back into the water system I assume or this could be part of the runoff from by being on the hill so don't quote me on that it could be part of the treatment, the final stages of the treatment facility they have here as well too. Or it could be just runoff for runoff for rainwater or whatever. So not for sure. But I will do an episode with the um I'm gonna do an episode with the tank wash guys once I find some that that will be willing to take us on a little tour of what they do. But nature is just, today is such a gorgeous day. And I decided to come out here and do a little walking. Not a whole lot to show here, but I said, you know what? Let's just go out and do some filming. You can see my shadow there. It's been a really cool day today. Very nice day today. I'm trying to zigzag as I walk. Some of this place is still kind of wet a few ant hills. Oh, that was a little slippery there. Walked into some mud. There we go. So anyway, like I was saying earlier, sometimes you got to sit back and smell the coffee. You know, give yourself some flowers every now and pat yourself on the back every now and then. It's okay. Not being conceited or anything, but sometimes it just helps build your self-esteem, help build your confidence. Especially we all got through 2020. And like in the other, you know, 2020 was a very rough year, but and there's been other years outside of 2020. You know, 06 through 08. Was it 07, 08? That was a rough one. As far as financial wise and the stock market and everything. So I think we all felt the crunch of that one. Um, that's my seat. I'm gonna have a seat here. I will sit down here and finish this up. But yeah, so we just sit back and just relax. I'd rather have a, a fishing pole in my hand and be fishing someone on a nice lake or a pond. But um, there was no sense in just sitting in my truck or watching TV when I can be out and just enjoying this live, this live entertainment. If it's just nothing, it's just if it's just simple bugs flying and you know watching some ants do their things, just relaxing and just game. I also have steady game planning. The next move, you know, what's the next right move, not just making moves. And I think, in my opinion, um, well, based on my opinion and my experience that I've done for myself in my life is once I've established my purpose, everything else was easy, you know, by me, especially understanding my why. And I understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I realized that the reason my why is because it all it's all worth it. It's all worth it. The hard work, 
the struggle, disappointments, liberation, joy, satisfaction, the learning experience, the process. Yeah, it's all worth it. And then, of course, the final reward. And I'm going to film this whole process. The whole process. So, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. And not just trying to feel, just trying to record stuff just for content purposes. But tomorrow, just to give you a little preview of the next what the next topic is going to be and we're going to go into more details and to a great extent of rollovers and what to look for not just with tankers but with any big trucks what not just with drivers but you know every I have more than just truck drivers that that tune in but also you know what what you need to look out for some of the characteristics of an unsafe truck as well as tankers. So these tankers have seen better days and tomorrow I'm going to go into more detail. We're going to do a more detail and do our own investigation of what really happened. Okay? So hit that like button. I apologize if it wasn't as more interesting than it should be but I want to test out my new piece of equipment as well as get some more content in and once again thank you for tuning in this is me Mr. K31 signing out saying always remember to be you know be focused on what you're working towards stay disciplined to your principles stay committed to your vision and most of all, be great. Be great. In some of y'all cases, some of y'all are already great. Be greater. You know? So, once again, thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button. Give me some comments. Feel free to continue sharing the, the, um, the YouTube channel with other people. And I promise you there will be more exciting content coming up. And like we always say,